Alright, so after a bit of a delay to record all of the Half-Life single player, I have returned to the map videos. And here we got Subtransit, which is uh, another one of those maps where I feel like it's... Well, I was actually about to say it was underrated and not played as much, but I do remember back in the day, like circa 2011, 2010 there, I remember actually quite a few servers having this on. So this one was actually played quite a bit, though... When I hear people talk about maps, they like, I don't really hear this one mentioned a whole lot. Uh, you'll often find yourself spawning on top of this, which is good, because especially when you have the weapons always on setting enabled, uh, yeah. You'll be grabbing a really powerful weapon pretty fast, so... Uh, that, along with this being right here, is, makes it, so this is kind of the place you want to be, uh, in this map. Which was designed by Dario Casali, I might add. You don't have to actually climb up the any of the crates here to get this. You can actually just jump right into it, which is helpful. Now, I'm going to get something out of the way. I won't be revealing too much about the the ifs, the specifics, but there's a lot of evidence to suggest that this map was actually designed for a cut cooperative mode that was in the game at one point, but was scrapped. Um, I'll link uh, Murphy Brown, or Mar not Murphy Brown, the Mar the Murphy video about it, Murphy Blackdemus, Murphy Black, whatever however you want to call him. I'll link his video to it just so you can see what it was about. But yeah, we won't talk about that. Down here you got some explosives and some claymores set up. There's a few claymores actually set up in this map from the get-go that I don't believe ever respawn, but they are there and make things a little interesting for like the when the match is starting out. Here is a underwater area we'll get more up uh, more into. But for also here's the actually like the transit of the map as you can see. I'm gonna actually take advantage and heal up. Uh, first we'll go up here with the gauze jump, although you can get up here without it. Here you got an upper area, which you can like you know use to like snipe people or get shot at if you're not careful. Some claymores. If you come around this way, you'll see the conveyor belts up here, which really suck to be on. You don't want to be on these. If you can, jump or just find a, like, gauze jump or find any sort of way to get through them faster. But if you do get over here, you have an RPG. Here's the other side of that one area. A healing thing with some ammo. I don't believe there's any sort of way to open this up. It's just, it is what it is. It's just like that. Uh, you can get up to this area from down here. Or you could, like, this is where that leads from earlier. Here is sort of, like, the main area, the main hub. Which we'll take a look at a bit later. Um, I'm gonna go back outside just to show you where the other entrance is. Where, you know, obviously this is where the other, like, little entryway is, but I want to get back up there real quick. If you stay up here from the conveyor belt area, you have the revolver, which is great for sniping out there or even doing some quick shots down here. I don't recommend staying in there, because you know you're gonna get shot at. Um, there's some ammo for that. This elevator is one way you can get up from, like, you know, down there. Though, there's no real switch or anything for it. It kind of just does what it wants, I feel. You got a shotgun, which is always good. Some health, some stuff. And this leads for to the back side of the hub area here. With some, a lot of explosive, a lot of charge you can. You can get the charger here, or you can get it here. So if you combine that stuff, you can basically get a full... Charge almost immediately. Of course, obviously, you had to actually have that B full. I don't know what I was expecting with that gauze jump. Now, of course, explosion. Get rid of that. Don't walk into that, of course, if you're like not intending to like mess mess up on anything. A quick way to get to the transit part of the map. Another quick way. And here is that area from earlier. All right. So, exploring the the hub here. You got a few ways to go. If you go this way is that elevator we brought up earlier. And another way to get into the transit part of the map. If you go this way instead. Well, if you go down there, of course. Another quick way to get to the transit. And that water area I brought up earlier, which we'll take a look at now. Get some nice explosives here. Although, of course, don't want to stick around too long. Because, you know, people can take advantage of the fact that, you know, the you're slower underwater. Uh, it's just some graphical glitches that drive me crazy. You got this weird shit going on here, though. If you open this up, you could get up here, but you have very limited time to get up here. But it's another little shortcut into the transit area. A lot of healing supplies and stuff like that. 
And now you might be wondering, is there an actual train to go along with the transit? Like the rail that doesn't hurt you, by the way. It's not like it's single player, get a hive hand. You can stay on this as long as possible, which is good. This area's got some nice goodies in it, some explosives. And here's the actual train itself, which... A uh, little fun fact, this was originally designed to be used in early on, um, if you remember, in Blast Pit, or uh, Blast Pit, yeah. There's that little train part early on where you ride the train quickly and then it goes flying off the rail. Or rather, it hits the end of the rail and you can go flying off it. This was designed for an earlier version of that. And as you can see, you can use it just fine. And you can run over people with it. For maximum fun, turn that on as soon as possible so uh, people fighting on here get squished. And get stuck in a corner briefly, because, you know, this is Half-Life after all. You got a little more of the water area here. Which leads into here if you need to get back up. Which, you, again, you really don't want to be here that long if that is going around. Although, you can du du like duck under that. It doesn't actually really connect to anything. It's, it's not, it doesn't really make sense how it stays running, but, you know, it's part of the fun of a multiplayer map. Is that, unlike in single player, you don't really need to explain anything. But yeah, from there, you could be riding this whole thing, staying on it, doing what you will on it the whole time, and you'd have a good time, believe it or not. Transits are fun. And yeah, not much more to say. Really good map. Uh, even though I'll be playing with eight, eight players, of course, uh, this one is actually really good with like 324-ish, like if, kind of that number of people. Even 32 people, you'll probably be having a good time, but it'll just be a little crowded. I especially remember, I don't know what the, if it was like a server-side mod or if it was like that anyone could download or if it was something that like was exclusive to the server it was on. But someone had like a version of this, like the multiplayer here, where everyone started with all the weapons and like everything, including the long jump. And it was just fucking nuts because, you know, people would be jumping around and like long jumping with the shotgun insta-killing each other. Um, I, again, I don't know if it was exclusive to a single server or anything like that. But it was some good times, and I always remember this is mostly the map I encountered that on. I guess it just worked really well. Oh, come on. Oh, forgot to turn the train on. Hold on. Don't mind me, citizen. Literally. I like that it even has a train icon, too. That's cute. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, every single one of those shots missed. I'm the, the worst at this game. Goodness gracious! Am I just fighting Rasputin? Come on now. Jesus. And, uh, yeah. Sub-transit. Really fun. Play it. 